Hi everyone, I'm Camille, the community manager for Shiny Shoe. I am here for our second weekly stream, which is a casual playthrough of our newest or our current game, Inkbound. Um, we're the developers of Monster Train, which is I think how a lot of you guys have come to know about this game. Um, <laughs> and yes, KG is here. And it's really cool to see some of you already saying hi in chat. Hi, Shaheen, who's a regular. And hi, uh, is it Ganema from Sweden? Uh, it's probably really late over there if you're watching from Sweden, and I really appreciate it. That's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, so before we get started, I just have a few little, you know, uh, things to do. We've got some socials, or that's, yeah, some socials in case you haven't followed us or you're not part of the Discord server, definitely follow, uh, join that. It's a great way to just talk directly to the de devs. Our creative director, Andrew, is always online and is always happy to answer questions, basically. Um, and then also, if you haven't already, please wishlist the game. That's really helpful for us to sort of like figure out um, just how interested people are in the game. So that's, that's that. And then um, also, well, I guess let's get started. I'm going to introduce everyone. All right, where is, oh shoot. All right. Oh shoot, okay. I don't know why I always, okay. All right. As you can see, this is Inkbound and we have a few play testers today. Um, this is Mumsy who now is, uh, you're on our, the second time streaming with us and we have a newcomer. I don't know what to call you on stream. I'm sorry, <laughs> King, the K jerk, KG is jerk. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, and also, before I continue, does, if anybody has trouble hearing us, we had some like technical difficulties right before the stream. So please let me know if you guys can't hear King, the Jerk, or Mumsy. Um, yeah, do you guys want to say hi? Do you guys? Well, okay. I actually, I have a question for you guys as an intro. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, because this was just something that crossed my mind earlier, and I'm really curious. Um, so, you guys have both played Monster Train and actually are avid players of Monster Train. And I think, right? Jerk, you're also, I, right? I haven't, no. No, you I, haven't. I watched. Oh, okay. So, okay, this so is as great. As much as I love Monster Train, it wasn't a game for me. Like it's okay. an amazing game and, and I love watching it. But when I played it, it just, it didn't click with me. Oh, okay. Um, Interesting. I know, I, well, I'm No, this saying. is good, this is good. So, oh, okay. I thought that because most people who are play testers, are like they're they played hundreds of hours of monster train and come to this game from that I've so this is really really interesting you want okay okay that's good to have. and okay and so so what has hooked you or if you're not hooked that's fine with inkbound that's fine but so like what are oh, you I've like got 30 hours in this in like a what a week and a half yeah no I'm <laughs> this, this has been fun yeah yeah, it yeah is strategic enough without being like I have to work my brain in overdrive, right? Like, yeah. I can play and move, and then when I do something stupid, it doesn't, well, no, it does kill me. That's happened a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't have to, like, go hard on focusing and, and just kind of go nuts at it. I can have fun and relax and still have a good, a good combat feeling and experience um, without, um, using every ounce of brain power so if i'm kind of tired right. or if i'm not feeling great you know it's still fun easy to pick up and it still gives you that that strategy feel where you're not just mashing buttons and doing nothing right so, right right okay it's a really good mix of those things and then when i find something that's really really busted and have a totally op run it's super fun yeah. Well, yeah, so we are in pre-alpha um, for anybody who's new. So there's going to, I don't know, we're going to see how long we even, just like uh, Jerk was saying, we're going to see how long we're, like, things sometimes just break, basically. And that's something we have to accept. And so Mumsy, going to you, so you have played Monster Train. I've played Monster Train, but not uh, for hundreds and thousands of hours, like you said earlier. I've only played Monster Train, I looked it up, for 22 hours. Oh, okay. I, I didn't really get too far in the Covenant system, but I loved playing the game over.
hard games going. Sorry about that, you guys. Oops, that was weird. I don't know why it suddenly just went to that scene. Okay, <laughs> sorry, Mumsy. Can you repeat that? So you haven't played hundreds of hours of Monster Train, but you have played like 20, you said, and now you're playing. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did about 20 hours of Monster Train. So I didn't find Inkbound through the company, at least. I, I, me and my friends were avid roguelike game players, and I was just looking for other games that were multiplayer that could be happening and then i just stumbled upon this on the steam store page oh okay okay so this is really yeah, good I, to know i found it through uh discord the one that uh primer and chat and i share because no. they were they were playing monster train and when someone found this from you know you guys making it yeah they were like if they made monster train like we have to at least check this out yeah, I yeah. Mean, right. as soon as that was posted i wish listed and was here and followed stream and waited until I can get it could get in here yeah that's that's really really cool thank you so much and I think Shaheen I saw you briefly in the game and I don't know if that was like a subtle trying to get in on our party that's fine <laughs> um I don't know if I can do that this time um but next time Shaheen definitely join and also you know there's backseat gaming um oh, oh you mean, finished your run oh I see just, um just pilfer right yeah yeah just pilfer that, that, that's, that's backseat gaming pilfer <laughs> <laughs> so for people who weren't here for last week's stream, um, so I allow Backseat Gaming and we're going to start a run right now. Um, backseat Gaming actually is highly encouraged. Please let me know what you think would be a good um, choice for me to do. And last time people kind of trolled me in, in the best of ways and asked me, or we started off with like Pilfer and we just started like building up Pilfer, which is an ability that you guys might see soon um over and over and over again until it was so op it was just like we were getting items from it it was ridiculous it was ridiculous so let's see if we can do something like that again so right now right off the bat we are here in this uh void <laughs> um this like sea of ink area and well we've got pilfer but i'm gonna let people vote um should i choose jinx when you use a magic ability, gain a stack of dread, deal damage equal to 10 times your stacks of dread. Pilfer, which is steal amount of quillings from an enemy, which is money in this game. Or cleave, um, deal 15 damage in a short range of arc and inflict beating. Bleeding, not beating. <laughs> well, we're hopefully going to beat yeah, we're gonna, too, so We're going to give him a beating. <laughs> Cleave. Okay, so we've got. Okay, so Jinx, I hear, is not working currently. You guys, I think. No, it works. It just doesn't work for us because we only have physical abilities. Yeah. We don't have oh, any right. magic abilities to stack dread for Jinx. Okay, but I might get. I mean, maybe. I thought. Well, bro. Yeah. Nope. Okay, you're right. Deal tells. Everything's different from what it was. Yeah, the only reason Jinx, quote unquote, doesn't work is just because it's not working for our character because our character doesn't have any magic abilities. So to answer, yeah, so to to answer um, Ganima's question, why doesn't Jinx work? So the reason why is, okay, so each class comes with these three core abilities. And so right now I'm playing as a Moss, moss Cloak, which is kind of like a medium range um, build. And I have Flurry. Nope, that's not Flurry. That's Flurry. Um, which is a physical ability, as you can see down here. Then Hunter's Dash, which is also physical, and then Throw, which is also physical. And so Jinx is um, good for if I want to use a magic ability. So I could choose it. Don't know what it's actually going to do for me. <laughs> it would be a three-cost ability that would do zero damage. Okay, that's... It would look... It'd look pretty. It would look pretty. It would look cool. Okay, yeah. well, pretty is always... Okay, so Ganima says cleave. Let's go with cleave, then. Let's try it. Cleave gang. Not... I know, cleave. Uh, I had to do it for the content. I was offered pilfer, and I took it immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. We'll Let's see, see if we can do the same thing yeah, as last we'll see time. see if I can get pilfer going again. Yeah, that thing... Okay, so what would be great is if um, pilfer became like last time, where... So what happened was... Um, Pilfer, what is it? It gets you like a 2% chance of dro like your enemy dropping um, legendary items or rare items, I think. Yeah, there's a special augment that is rare to show up okay. where basically if you take that augment, you have, I don't honestly know what the chances are because it doesn't say, but you have roughly like anywhere between like 1% to like 5% chance to spawn a vestige, which is the items in this game, to pick up on the ground. 
Yeah. And so the main was... thing for multiplayer, though, is that it has a chance to spawn a vestige for every single character in the game. Yeah. And so on that note, what was happening was that last time I was getting like these common, like kind of trash, but not trash. There are no trash vestiges, but just like these really common vestiges, which is what I have right now. And everybody else was getting like legendaries or rare. And it was really frustrating. So speaking of vestiges, what should I- It was I... hilarious. <laughs> it was <laughs> hilarious. Um, what should I choose here? Verdant Seed, which is to restore three HP. Yeah, I think so too, bystander. Um, Tarnish Pearl, when I pick up an orb, which is those glowy thingies that were on uh, during the combat. Or Braided Acacia, deal 10 damage. All right, we've got two for Verdant Seed. So that is what I'm gonna go with right now. You can't go wrong with healing. Free That's healing true. especially is just nice. Yeah, exactly. And also, um, I don't look like I am that beefy this time. And we've got another, ooh, okay, so this I can augment the binding. So that's, uh, this is gonna like sort of tack on to one of my core abilities down here. Um, distant dash, which, so blue is rare. I have two options that are rare and then green is common. Um, so I don't know what, what do you guys think I should do? I could buff up my, sh my throw and give it plus 10 damage. Um, I can increase my range with distant dash or I can Gain a shield every time I cleave. Okay, I love that. All right, Shaheen, let's do throw. I really hope I get the... Oh no, I'm sorry, bystander. All right, I will make sure to let you pick next time. All three of them are good. Yeah, I really want to get... There's one that's kind of like a boomerang, and I really like the animation, and I hope that I get that one. Oh. I'm waiting for you guys. I know, and then you're just like... <laughs> hey, Andy. Oh, it's so cool to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Distance yeah, would be good, especially because I'm kind of a little bit of a, I guess, a baby build right now. So let's do a normal battle. I left some money on the ground. Who left some money on the ground? I, I did. Oh, you I, did, you did. Okay. Yeah, I just, I opened the thing and ran away before I could pick it up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, all these people are phased, which is awful oh no I okay get rid of a bunch of so every single one of them has to be hit at least once before we can deal damage to them okay jerk just hit all five of that group okay once, so now we well these wait these still finish the rest off hopefully well, these are still phasing though wait they still yeah the two on the left are still phasing but all the five near jerk are able to be hit even oh, okay though, even though it still has the like animation on it which i believe is the a little bit a of a dust right yeah, now. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, yeah, but it's obviously I'm able to attack it. And maybe I should have moved away. That's okay. That's all right. Jerk is here. Is going to save me. Right. Yeah, you got me. And I <laughs> the guy true. behind us. That's that's the upgrade I took. My my Q does a stun for the first guy I hit. Nice. Are you just out of range of that? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I went for it. You saw me. Wait, you Mumsy, you have Pilfer, but you haven't used Pilfer yet. I used Pilfer once and stole a little bit of money. That's so, all it does right now, though, is steal a little bit of money. Nothing. Just a little bit of money, yeah. So, okay. So, Ganima, that's a great question. Thank you so much. So, so far, I've only seen I've seen only physical damage characters. Are there any magical ones available currently? So, they are mostly physical, but there is a new secret one that I can't really talk about and is not ready for viewing publicly basically that is very different and definitely magical no. um, and there will be a, well actually that's a great segue into this friday we're going to showcase um i don't think it's it's not like magical magical but it's definitely a new Ooh, can i do cleave no um i don't know i don't want to get sorry okay i'm getting distracted <laughs> um uh, <laughs> yeah, so we have like a magical, magical one, but we are showcasing a new, never before seen um, class this Friday. So every Friday is at 12 p.m. P um, Pacific time. I am joined by, with Andrew, our creative director, and he gets to talk a little bit more in detail about the different classes and specifically this new one that's coming up. And a lot of people has, have been asking for a new class. <laughs> David Blaine, you heard it here first. <laughs> I love that. That's that's fantastic. Um, no one saw that first wig, right? 
No one saw it. No one saw it. Don't worry. It's it's okay. only recorded on stream. I know. No it's only recorded. It. It's only going to be on YouTube for forever. And now I'm highlighting the stream, so it's also going to be on Twitch forever. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's worse. Your class is David Blaine. You heard it here first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's, that's fantastic. That's um, all right, so bystander, it's all on you. You get to choose this time. Uh, flame skin, when an enemy hits me, inflict one stack of burn. Tiny heart stone, I get plus three max HP, and I heal one HP whenever I pick up an orb. Or cultivated harmonies, a random ability gets one cost discount at the start of your turn. Okay, that sounds pretty good. But bystander, it's up to you. I'm letting you choose since I didn't get to, I didn't see your vote last time. If you're here, if you're not here, that's okay too. And then other, other people can vote too. I'm gonna get. No, I know. <laughs> they have to be here. Or they have to be. Here. I know. <laughs> all right, blame skin. All time. right, I love that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's do the ruin shrine. You never know what you're gonna get at a ruin shrine. I know. Like, a rare vestige. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, now for everyone. Oh, I haven't seen this one. All right, Dunn's Head. Ooh, okay, plus 100 crit damage. Is that percent? No. That's percentage, it? yeah. That's percentage, okay. Yeah, Dunn's Head is very strong. Yeah. So you have a 15% chance to crit on all of your abilities, and if you do crit, it does an extra 100% of damage. Yeah. Whoa, okay. And then there's Will Barrier, gain one will, which is the... Uh, movement points and uh, action, action points, basically. You can see them at the bottom right. Um, gain one will whenever you gain shield. I don't think I gain shield with anything. Right now, none of us okay. have ways to gain shield, I don't think. So, I yeah. One. I think you're right, Shaheen. I'm going to go with Dunshead. Dunshead. Oh, wait. Is I'm not Magma. Probably... <laughs> oh, yeah. Animal yeah. T. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Dunshead is probably the best vestige just out of all vestiges on the Moss Cloak because they're completely centered around being able to crit enemies. Okay. I love it. I think you're like you're like the resident um, expert on crit builds, basically. Or like on really <laughs> optimizing for, <laughs> for crit. Ooh, okay. All right, so is Flurry still broken? I don't know if I should say that on stream. I actually have not. I don't think so. I've used it a couple times. Okay. Yeah, it should be should be fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I should say that on stream, but um, <laughs> there's, there's no issues with the game. Yeah, I know. This is perfect. Yeah. It's it's not in pre-alpha at perfect. all. Yeah. Okay. Is this guy going to attack me? What is going on with him anyway? Uh, he's got. Stunned. Yeah, he's got protective. Okay, and he's and he's stunned. Was that you, jerk? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, Once per turn, the first person jerk bonks with his hammer will get stunned. Nice. And that's not, um, it that's doesn't stack. Like you can't, you, so is it per turn? You can like, you can stun a new person, uh, sorry, a new enemy per turn? Yep. Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. First, awesome. Or if he wants to, he can stun the same person every single yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm going to take that big guy. That's fantastic. Him and I aren't friends. No. Oh, why is he? Okay. Um, yeah, so get him with, yeah, that is uh, 12 p.m. on Fridays. So much more reasonable. Um, you seem like a night owl, but 12 p.m. on Friday might be a lot more reasonable for you to join us. Not that I'm not happy that you're here right now. Okay. I need something to get more will because you guys all seem to just have oodles of action points, basically, and I don't. Well, I got. Expensive. I got a vestige that says I spawn an additional orb at the start of each turn. So I technically, if I'm picking up have. both the orbs, I have seven will per turn I instead see. of the normal five. I have. I, get it. I got a legendary out of the last. I also got a legendary what? out of the last one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. Well, the, it's okay. The the dev curse is just back. That's fine. <laughs> it's just always. I wasn't expecting it. Absolutely not. But I was. I'll definitely take it. That's ridiculous. It's true. It's so true, though. Okay, come on. Can I just kill you? No, I can't. Okay, that was so close, though. He's only got... Uh, okay. Well, it's because he's beefy, I guess. Maybe Bleed will take him out. Uh, okay. So he has five stacks of Bleed? That should kill him, I think. I hope so. Well, no, he's got seven... Who needs sleep anyway? Yes. Yeah, so speaking of people, so Ganema, you're in Sweden. Is anybody else, like where are people 
viewing from, basically. Because, Mumsy, I know you're Arkansas. Jerk, where are you from? I am Oregon. Really? Portland? Yes, just outside. Andy, are you also Arkansas? Arkansas gang, yeah. What? That's very surprising. <laughs> Jonesboro, nice. I don't know where that is. Ooh, the UK. It's in East... Arkansas, Kimmy. I know, I know, but where? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's why are all the enemies on this side? I'm using up all my will just to get over here. Okay. Um, ooh, we the UK. That's very exciting. I want to go to the. Spawned, so I, I came over here. I know. It's just like, why are you on the outer edges like this? Northeast near Memphis. Okay. All right. That's cool. And U.S. East Coast. Like, that's quite a bit. That's that's a that's a pretty wide swath of land it's like boston vice oh sorry i'm talking to bystander now not to call you out bystander you also don't have to tell people where you're from if you don't want to so we are in fact strangers on the internet i know we are <laughs> you might not want to tell people where you're from yeah, my, zip code, all my social security number i know uh, this is my home page. address yeah um Okay, call forth a vestige. Tracker cleats. When using a movement ga ability, gain evasive once per turn. Oh, that might be good. Whispered mm. invitation. What does this do? Okay, I get 10% plus 10% dodge, which might be good. And plus five movement. Th these seem to have a theme. And I heal five HP whenever I dodge an attack. Which, since I get... I'm not from Sweden, God. <laughs> and then shiny circlet, cooldown per orb. Uh, amount you reduce, wait. Amount you reduce cooldown times by when you pick that phrasing's confusing. You reduce cooldown times when I pick up orbs? Oh, I see, okay. Plus I reduce, every time I pick up an orb, I reduce all my abilities by one? Yes, so normally you yeah. reduce all of your cooldowns by one whenever you pick up an orb. But if you have that on, so it it's reduces by two. all of your cooldowns by two. Okay, wait. Yes. I believe Hunter's Dash has a cooldown of two, so every orb would immediately refresh your Hunter's Dash. Oh. I love your memory, you Mumsy. You've got a fantastic memory. You just know all of these by heart at this point. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm also playing Moss Cloak, so I just hovered over it. Oh, I see. I you're just reading. Much take, I very much will take the compliment. Oh, here I am. I'm like, oh my god, Mumsy like, <laughs> is the brain man of Moss Cloak, I guess. I, I imagined you just looking I at this. I know it like, all. Yeah. Uh, so it seems like Shining Circlet is getting it. That, okay, it's being chosen. That's fantastic. And as you can see, all right, I'm going to pick up these guys a little bit. And as you can see, we are pre-alpha. So that's just a placeholder right now. And wait, I wait. think you can click on this thing, the the square. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just did. This? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, oh I what? I've not seen this. Yeah, this is new. Oh, this, this is, is new. Like... What is going? <laughs> okay, what is going on? I've never seen this. I haven't come to this. Uh... This is your new manifest memory. Oh, wait. What this wasn't is this? A really... This wait, 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 wait. Wasn't this just? Oh, because we just finished a combat. And then we got the the reward for that. And now, also, at the end of a combat, we manifest a memory. Sorry, everyone. I know this game, I swear, but there's things that just change every day because we're in pre-alpha. Like, literally... Sometimes multiple times a day. Sometimes multiple That's times true. a day. That is true. Exactly, Bumsy. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes they have to, like, launch a whole new build, basically, for the... Yeah. Oh, it was added was, yesterday. Okay. Yeah, this was added yesterday, so certain combats will have a font oh. of... Hmm. I don't remember what the font is, to be honest. I'm surprised I remember anything. But uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's permanent little stat upgrade for for that comp. Or for, you clearly uh, for take the physical power, right? Yeah, well, everybody said crit damage, so I'm going to do that. That sounds good. Yeah, so crit damage, oh, you're getting 10% more crit damage on your crits. But physical power, one physical power is 10% more damage to all your physical abilities all the time. Oh, hi, Carnival. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, I'm a noob compared to all you crazy playtesters that are just... <laughs> <laughs> I've... Oh, God. Every day I read the the uh, the updates on our Discord by Mark, and 
I just, I'm like, wait a second, okay. And then like, I'm like, okay, are, there, are these changes from yesterday? And then, I'm, you know, it just becomes very jumbled eventually. Um, I don't know what to choose actually. Call forth a vestige. Steel umbrella seems cool. Ink needle compass, in my opinion. Ink needle well, compass? Chat, okay, but you chat. can't vote because you're on the stream. Leave people. Chat, <laughs> chat, chat, chat. <laughs> okay, people, I... what do you think I should do? Okay, More Shaheen crit, says compass. Uh, yeah, Carnival, the new art is looking really cool. Um, okay, and we got two for compass. Does anybody else want to vote or are we? All right, I'm going to do compass. Yeah, thank you. All right, oh, okay, let's also do this. All right, sorry, it's a lot of voting time, you guys. Um, should mm. I augment, po uh, let's see, should I augment my hunter's dash with poison dash? Oh, okay, that might be good. Inflict 20 stacks of poison, critical throw, Ooh. plus that might be good, plus 75% crit damage, plus 25 crit chance, or scorching cleave, inflict burn. And I think already I have bleed on that, so that might be cool. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do throw, that's great. And you are the crit chance person. I know, right? I guess I am. Okay, are we okay, doing voices this time? Chance, I would give it to you. Oh, yeah, I, I think I'm okay. Okay, who wants to do the voice? Oh, no. Okay, Mumsy, you're, you you spoke you spoke first. You got to do it. You want to read? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this happen? All right. Back already. Guess Nim is losing his touch. Got to make sure to carve him before. Ooh. Whatever before is happening. Uh, go on. There's nothing else there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Be buying or be leaving. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough to do without you gawking at me. It's alright. I X out of it soon. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That carve up who? That's scary. I didn't know that the carver was this sort of ominous presence. I always. Yeah, they're angry. Yeah. Geez, what's going on here? As long as they sell me good stuff, I really don't care. I know. I guess. It, yeah. It's okay. You can be the aggravated. Yeah, I just won't talk to him again. I know. It's just like, what's going on? All right. Okay, I am getting the power orbs this time. Okay, do I want to do... No, I don't want to get that close, actually. I'm going to run gonna away. Keep dashing. Swishy! Hi, Swishy! Thanks so much for joining! How are you? Swishy's back. Yay, Swishy! <laughs> okay, so let's see. I... Yay! Good. Thank you so much for joining today. Actually, this is, I think, oh, yeah, we're doing good so far. We haven't, oh, nothing dropped. Okay. Right now, I guess I'm becoming the crit queen for this, for this, uh, this run. Oh no. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm still, I'm still hurt by that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, it's, it it's a good thing, it. though, because I took the Vestige Pressurization Tank to deal double damage when I'm below 50% HP. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. So, Swishy, I've been thinking about that dish that you told us about last time nonstop. Can you remind us what's the name? Uh, what the name is? It's like this double carb beauty of a dish that kashari yes exactly oh, i'm yeah. trying to find it somewhere here in san francisco um yeah i just like oh god it looks so cool if you guys don't know what kashari is you should definitely look it up it it it's just like cu double carb beauty it's heaven it looks like heaven and i'm trying to find it here somewhere um it's okay like rice and noodles right yes yeah, it's just rice and noodles and like onions um it looks really really good uh all right Ooh, okay, Carnival. So you're saying poison shot. Deal five damage to an enemy. Inflict 20 stacks of poison. When you crit, inflict 20 more stacks of poison. Eviscerate, maybe. Inflict bleed, then attack three times for 15 damage. Each attack carries over active effects from upgrades. Homing shuriken. I like the, I hope this is, I mean, I like to think that this is maybe a Naruto. Anyway, maybe not. Gain two shuriken. Your shuriken deals 30 damage each. Home homing in on the nearest marked unit or the nearest unit if there is no marked oh my god this is long mark does not get removed when hitting with homing shuriken oh wait what okay gain two shirt okay your shuriken deals 30 damage each homing in on the nearest marked unit okay or the nearest unit if there are no marked units do i have anything to mark a unit our dash yes marks okay so i could use this in combination okay 
Um, Mark does not get removed when hitting uh, hitting with homing shurikens. Okay, sorry. So I saw one person with poison shot. But Ganima says also, okay, so right now we have basically a vote for each. We need a tiebreaker. Who wants to be the oh, Oh, who wants to be the who wants to be the tiebreaker? Okay, so bystander says poison shot. Ganima said one for the other. Maybe swishy. Okay, king. No, you you can't. <laughs> you can't. All right, we've got all right. Shaheen, we've got poison shot. Fantastic. It looks like we got three votes for poison shot, which is a shame because I feel like the homing shuriken seemed insane. Because since it doesn't remove marked on hit, I know like it normally does. It could just like that sack. would just give the shuriken a hundred percent crit chance for the entire attack. Ooh, okay, Carnival, that's a good point. So I have so much crit. That's like 40, 40 poison per hit. That's, that's not a bad. That's yeah, bad. that makes sense. So okay, another ability draft. What should I do, Pilfer? I <laughs> know Carnival. You're yeah. yeah. All right, we've got one Pilfer who. Invigorate, gain plus, okay, gain plus 10 ability power for the next three abilities. That would be cool. Okay, yeah, I think we've, yeah, we've got two for Invigorate. I think that would be cool. Okay, um, to the Proving Grounds. All right, this is not one of the two broken worlds that are happening right now. Okay. That's why I came over to that one. I was pretty sure that's what we wanted to be. Right, exactly. Ooh, yeah, okay. I can't go to the other one yet. I know. Okay, it's all pre-alpha. So, uh, the upgrade I took should drop money okay, every time I use my uh, my jump slam on people. Oh, oh that'd that be nice. You guys do. I wasn't sure, but I figured, you know, why not give it a shot? Yeah, I definitely. I got sharpshoot for my throw, where it extends the range and it deals more damage the farther away I am from people. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so these guys really hurt. I really don't want. I'm gonna stun one of them. Oh, yep. oh the other one. Oh, cold, wait. So... That guy just. All right. Well, I guess. Solved that <clears throat> problem, didn't Sorry. I? Yeah, I guess. All right. Okay. Someone okay. can have some more orbs. <laughs> I. Er, I cannot. No. I can't move. Yeah, I did all my actions yeah. already. You can't get okay. Well, fine. I will. Take yeah, it. yeah. You yeah, should take you it. Take the orb. You spawned it. Well, yeah, but I was trying to be nice. That's odd. I really thought that the wrinklings had more. All right. Well, okay. I mean, Six hundred yeah. HP. We really just do that much damage. I guess so. I think I crit for two hundred there. Yeah, and I I took the flower bloom, so that's oh. nice. Oh no. Oh. I thought it was a bug. I was Orbs. like, why am I not moving? Panic. <laughs> no panic. Yeah, have some more. Orbs. Uh, you know, there's not any reason really for me not to just keep using Q. Yeah, bystander, that's a really good point. Let's see. All right, now that's all I can do. Yeah, I'm focusing completely on my Q as well. Yeah. I mean, well, actually, I mean, it makes sense because I've that's the only one that I've got a legendary on. Actually, it's really the only one that I've augmented. Well, it's not in my control. I... <laughs> oh, that... that it's what that the fates terrible. decide. Yeah, it's what the fates decide. Okay, now let me... Dash to you. Murder you. Yeah. Okay. Dash to you. Uh. Um... I should do that more. Alright, can you move? Oh, nice. It's fine, because I want to be low on health. Yeah, do you, are you going to die this round? I, I He won't hurt me. I can move him. No, it's fine. Uh, well... He's, he actually only does one damage. Oh, okay. Right. I have two shields, so I was going to say I can tank it. Oh, yeah. Might as well hit him. Yeah. Too late. You, want. you, you got, you got it's flower on It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I'm just going to... Yep. Just going to take all these. Go, go, go. Wait, what am I doing? Dash? I'm wrong. Yeah, and I yeah, he's 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 gonna be he's gonna be perma stunned. Yeah, that's the glory of the the bonk. Yes. Oh wait, that wasn't going to take the one. Yes. There we go. Okay. 
Monies. What do we got? All right. Ooh. Leaky right, pen. Spawn an additional orb at the start of each turn. Ooh, that'd be good. Verdant sprout. I just dropped a leaky pen on the ground as well. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, so that's not even. All right. So really, you guys, it's going to be verdant sprout which is plus five max HP, restore one HP, or tracker's cleat. Don't forget to spend your shuriken charges when the stacks get high. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. It's the new passive for Moss Cloak, where every turn we get a shuriken, and our number one ability, Flurry, spends all the shurikens that we have on us to deal, I believe, 30 damage per shuriken. Oh. Yeah. That's how they changed Flurry. It used to be yeah. three, and if you crit, you got more. Now yeah, it's just I believe, stack it. I believe a stream ago, the old passive for Moss Cloak was ever, like every, I believe, five attacks, we did an extra little bit of magic damage. Right. But yeah. now, now we gain Shuriken per turn to use with our Flurry ability. And then, the, like, the Homing Flurry gets you more Shurikens uh, per turn. Uh, right, but I don't it, have it, that. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So, okay. Can you repeat that? So, I use Flurry, then I gain a Shuriken. Just here, Mumsy, can you just repeat that really quick? Sorry, I got, I got distracted. You. Yeah. So the <laughs> small little green circle next to your health bar, that's the passive we have. Okay, you gain right. one Shuriken at the start of each turn, right. and you gain an extra Shuriken at the start of combat. So okay. we start combat with two Shurikens. Okay. And your Flurry ability will give you one Shuriken and then throw all the Shurikens you have amassed throughout the combat to enemies in front of you. Sorry, you guys. Oh! No. Oh, God. Sorry. It'll make your leap and Sorry not about have that. any Ooh. cooldown and reduce its cost by one so you can just leap everywhere. Okay. Then I could probably trade you that and let you Ooh. take that one. <laughs> is this just becoming the black market of vestiges here? Is that what Absolutely. I'm? Absolutely. Yeah. Is that what I'm watching? I think this would actually be better on Kami. Okay. The this yeah, one right that, here, the that, yeah, uh, this legendary one, the, the Clepsid Dranium. Dranium. At the start of your turn, all of your ability cooldowns. That would be nice. I would take that. I'll replace this old guy right here. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I because I don't think the... any of the cooldowns that Kami has are above that, so Kami should have access to every single one of her abilities each turn. Yeah. That's... Ah. Except maybe Invigorate. I think Invigorate is like a six turn cooldown. Eight. Eight? Eight? Yeah. yeah. But well, that'll I reduce mean, the cooldown yeah. by like two mm -hmm. turns. Yeah. Okay, you, that'd be you good. Invigorate, and then you flurry, so you don't really care. <laughs> Chomps don't know poop spells, same way. <laughs> don't know poop spells same letters backwards i think that's not wrong that's but that's fantastic um actually i do want to take this little opportunity to if there are anybody if there's anybody right now that's watching that doesn't know that we have a discord um please join and these are our socials just generally i didn't do this last time halfway through sorry about that if uh but that's and then also definitely wishlist the game. It's just a really good opportunity or a way for us to figure out how well we're doing and what just like generally the interest. And with that, sorry about that. Let's call forth a vestige. So should I big troll fight, left click consume, gain plus 10 physical, which would be good. And 100% incoming damage for your next turn. Okay. Or so troll heart made of glass. Right Okay, left click blocks all damage from the next incoming attack. That would be good. Okay, you want big damage? Big troll. Hey, <laughs> <damn>. <laughs> I um, took big damage. Okay, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's see what this does. I know. I'm a I scared really... person. I took blocks all incoming damage. I have no regrets. Well, you're kind of low on health right now. <laughs> I, <can't... laughs> I think we should go ability upgrade. We have nothing but vestiges. So That's far. true. I think you're right. I know. I only have one ability that's fully upgraded right now. This guy is new, too. I like oh, him. Yeah, hello. what is he doing? Ooh, hello. Gave us a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah, huh? That's why I like but him. But we don't have that <laughs> many. Swishy why have... in the chat just, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, never. Swishy. I love that. But we haven't seen that many merchants this run. 
Oh, here, Bumsy. Yeah, you should probably... Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. Hmm. Okay, let's oh, do that. That's $50. That's so much money. I'm going to get you more when I start slamming on things. Yeah, so now your slam should Ooh. only cost one, and you can do it every single action if you want. Oh, yeah, let me... Oops. Yeah, here we go. All right. Look, it goes up. Or it goes back to two. Um, yeah, kill yeah, yeah, it only reduces it by the one. I get you. But still. Um, and my shoot. Oh, that's actually a good question. If I rotate, will I still be in his way? I think I have, like, my ankle. I don't think you can get out of the damage. You don't think so? Just by <laughs> just by shifting my... my... Let's see. Sure can crit for 246 damage. That's a lot. That's that a lot is of damage. a lot. Yeah. Oh, what is this guy right now? Oh, basically in a few turns we could. He's not gonna look at me. I don't. I don't got this. He's gonna hit you. I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. <laughs> as long as it's not Mumsy. That's. <laughs> I'd be fine. <laughs> hey, I was. I thought of. Oh, I didn't get out of the way either. Oh well. All right. Let's. Okay. So oh, I'll good stay. night. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to hit him because I'm scared to look <laughs> no, at just me. Slowly, Mumsy's just slowly creeping along the, the combat. Okay. There we go. Okay. So okay, my Q like... did 577 damage wow. for reasons. Okay. Right. Yeah. As just... a moss cloak should. It's a moss cloak should. It's all that, you know, it's that free alpha um, magic, basically. Enjoy it now until Absolutely. Andrew figures it out. And, it's, and it never happens again. Can you guys get there and, and use that? I'm trying to be more utility because you guys have 80 billion crit. So. I don't have 80 billion. I only have 55%. Uh, that didn't stun it. Yes. So the little pools on the ground might have taken the hit for him. Oh. Because yeah. we can yeah. we can hit those to get rid of them. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. What do people think? Ooh. Quick and flurry, reduce cooldown by does one. Does have burn? By the way, yet. Sorry, my have... flurry. Oh. What was the question? I'm sorry. Wait. Sorry. Do what you, is? Does anyone have burn? Like any burns energy? Uh, I, I have no burn. Wait. Do I? No. Kami does not have okay. burn. Yet. Yeah, I don't. No, I'm gonna go with the crit. Okay. <laughs> Poison, poison dash. Okay, we've got two for poison, three for poison. All right, all right. All in on poison. This is what this this run is all about. Absolutely. Uh, let's do. Okay, we already did sea spout. I think this is gonna give us on the vestige, but maybe it'll be upgrade. I think it's random between upgrade and vestige. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know that person. Ooh, augment. All right. Poison crits and pilfering. Very true. All right. Would like to see the cleave work, but don't think it will at this point anyway. Uh, I'll try it more. How about this? Oh, quick swishy, quick dash. Yeah, 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 but let's have a... <laughs> okay, okay. All right, quick dash. For sure, apply the poison twice. Okay, all right. The people have spoken. But her Q already applies 20 poison. So she's going to spam Is it just going to... Is it... Is it going to stack? Am I going to just like... Just poison people out? Well, now that you have quick dash, so I think the poison throw applies 40 poison if you crit someone. So you could dash, apply 20 poison, throw yeah. to apply 40 poison, then dash again, and then throw again. That's only four will, and I think that's what, like 120 stacks of poison? Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. Gonna I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> it's it's the little like that's what I'm saying about this game. Yeah, yeah. When you get something like that. It is. So I'm so much excited. Fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that should be 120 stacks. Oh, I'm of so excited. I'm so excited. Have, I think two will left, so you can okay. move out of harm. Sorry. So I dash first or I throw first? You dash okay. and then throw to get a guaranteed crit. Okay. And then you dash again and then throw again right, to just... get another guaranteed crit. And they'll have 120 stacks let's of poison. See. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait. Oh. There we go. All right. Nice. Yes, definitely. Hi, the pineapple. Thank you so much for joining the chat. Oh, shoot. This little guy's chopping on me. 
I think the game is lagging because I threw a. Yeah. It's there we go. It's, bit, yeah. It caught up. There we go. I got this one. Okay. Sweet. This is gonna oh, be. You know Sorry, Ganima. I don't know if you're gonna see um, cleave this one now that I have this. <laughs> throw and dash combo. I'm gonna. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yes. Go, Kami. Go. I know. I like. He's doing it. Go. Oh. One more. Yes. Oh, wait. Maybe. And then you can just keep stacking more and more poison. 200 poison. <laughs> so that's 200 magic damage that the captor is going to take at the end of turn. And now he's not going to act. And now he's not going to act. Oh, he's going to... I guess he's not going to take that. Ooh, I love the animation on Mumsy, your, your weapon. That's pretty great. Let's see what else. I could hit all of those guys. That's okay. money for everybody. That's I know, a lot just... of money. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, much. it is lagging a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, it does when we've got like 80 actions going on at the same time, yeah. and then the enemy's taking their turn. Get him. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. There's going to be plenty of stream scanima, so. Do not worry. And also, next time, we'll be able to show off a new class. Shoot, I didn't do my combo. Okay. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to play this stream. Uh... There's more. Have at it. There is orbs all around you. I'm super There's excited. Okay, let me thing. just do one cleave just for Ganima. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, captor. You find it weird that burn do. persists, but poison just gets used. Right, poison should be lower and then halved at the end of the turn. What do you... sorry. Poison stacks higher mm. and does uh, a full burst and then gets removed. True. Where, yeah. Where burn ticks down, so I don't know. Poison does more... it does damage faster and it's easier to stack, but fire keeps around on the enemy for longer it's, so it's the difference between burst and consistent damage yeah yes and what about bleed so bleed is also kind of like fire where it's consistent i, I think bleed goes away at the end of the turn and it does mm. extra damage based on their missing oh, health so like it executes i believe oh i see oh, okay it's lagging a little bit i am not able to tell people the name well Wait a second, that is a great question. Did we mention it last week? It's been like leaked on a couple streams, I think, but I don't think it's been <laughs> the new <laughs> Yeah, the new class is Whoa. David Blaine. No, actually, I think yeah. Andrew did mention it on the Friday stream. Mm. So, you know what? I'm just going to play it safe. I'm not the creative director. I don't get to yeah. <laughs> I don't get to leak the name of the new classes, but it's going to be on Friday. We're gonna play it on Friday. Okay. Ooh, okay, these are all legendaries. What should I choose, you guys? Eviscerate, inflict bleed, then attack three times for 15 damage. Each attack carries over active effects from upgrades. Energizing sprint. Ooh. Dash to medium distance and inflict mark to enemies in your path. Gain one will for each enemy you pass through once per turn. <gasps> okay, so my combo could... Okay, or homing shuriken. Gain two shuriken. Your shuriken deals 30 damage each. Homing in on the... Wow. Okay, I'm not going to read all this text. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, which combo one? Is, the dash is super great, but so is homing. Like, both of those are really, really great choices. It's got to be the sprint, right? Homing well, shuriken is got... just incredible on its own, right? But the right. sprint is already synergizing extremely well with what she's got going on. Right. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's just more and more poison, right? Yeah, that's just an extra oh. certain amount and, of poison oh. each turn. And by the way, you guys are going to love me because I took the flower thing that consumes all of my will. Oh, you can just so give oh. one of us your turn, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, I can hop in, rob everybody, smash, spawn more orbs, stun the guy, and then give you guys everything else. <laughs> oh. Okay, Shaheen is a good point. Okay, so you're right. Flurry doesn't have anything, so I'm going to do Sprint. Or Hunter's, yeah. yeah. So it does technically cost one more, but if you hit one enemy, you get that one back. Mm hmm no, it, It's not as good as pure escape. But right, it's good right, right. Yeah. Take shield. 
Uh, let's see, swishy, right. but now it gains will, so the cost is refunded. Yeah, exactly. So if Ooh. you hit two enemies, you immediately just cut even, and you got to deal distance and apply march for completely free. And poison. So I have a question now. Okay, so we're drafting, drafting a new ability. There's Jinx. So it says I have a magic ability. Poison Shot is still a physical ability, even though I'm dealing magic damage? Yes, so... Okay. Invigorate your only magic ability, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. doesn't really seem to... Yeah, Jinx just that. isn't really a good ability yeah. for these two classes, Moss Cloak and Magma Miner. The one on Friday, it would be great for. <laughs> yes. So if you want to see Jinx, tune in on Friday. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank Easy. you. Thank you. <laughs> Friday. Uh, okay, we got we two for Shield Jinx. Wall. Oh, being being called a jerk is just I ironic. And yeah. <laughs> Technically, I can stack burn. Helpful jerk. Helpful jerk. <laughs> I'm not changing my name to that. <laughs> uh, okay, this let's see. This might be the end of our road, depending on Thanks. how it what goes. you want to see. Um. Okay, wait. Do you guys know if either one of these lead to gray box zones or? Um, that's a hard, hard battle. battle so. So Maybe? yeah, that probably leads to gray box. Okay, so let's try ability upgrade. Let's try ability. No. no. Okay, wait. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go go ahead of me. It's forbidden. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, Mumsy, do you mind uh, checking out what's going on over there? Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see. see what we got over here. We have um. Oh, I need to go back to geometry. Let's see the. We have millions of gray boxes. No. I counted each one of them. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's all gray from here. Okay. Yeah. Count, counted them one by one. Millions of gray boxes. Millions of gray boxes. So many gray boxes. Oh, that sucks. All right. So I think it's going to, we're going to have to end the run here. Put it in BRB mode. Put it in BRB. We can, <laughs> it's just a podcast at this point. No. You can't see what we're doing, but you can hear it. It's fine. That smash uh, was great. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I just did so much damage. Just talk through my... All right, Carnival, I'm just like, okay, we're going through some more gray box zones. We're going through a gray yeah. box zone. Maybe I could put in, like, you could just hear the combat sounds, basically. It's like, right now Absolutely, we're, like, yeah. yeah. It does make me sad, because I really wanted to see, when I gave you, like, all of the will I had, how many stacks of poison you could get on somebody. That Absolutely. Would be really cool. yeah. I know, I know. I think... Uh, I'm trying to think. We have to make the sounds? Yes. No. <laughs> ka -ching. Hey, if you want me to make sounds, there's going to be a Hadouken in there somewhere. I know. Yeah, no. absolutely. Make a swoosh for Swishy. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't know when. I know that Andrew's been working really hard on the final boss this week. So I think that we might be able to show that soon, but I don't know what the status is on these great box zones. Um, a great box as a final boss. I actually, bystander, you're just you're just a well of good ideas for this. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would really be hilarious. That'd be absolutely Super fantastic. Super secret gray know, box. I know. It's boss just right. You, do very the, the you have no idea. You have no idea what he's gonna do. You have no idea which direction he's going to attack. Floating mm -hmm. gray box. You have no. Yeah, exactly. I love this. Everything looks like a bug, specifically crafted for that. Giant corn as a boss. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, that'd be a good idea, actually. Fire. It yeah. just sits there and you just have to hope you deal enough damage before yeah. it kills you. Yeah. Well, so I'm really curious. Okay, well, so let's not... So this time I really wanted... Because last time I think we ended a little bit too soon. I really want to hear your thoughts about, like, what are the changes? Or sorry, not what are the changes, but your thoughts on the changes since last week. Um... I know, so like Mumsy, for example, you've mentioned, yeah, that's right, we're just going to be just, I, I like this world a lot, so we can totally just hang out in this mushroom world for a bit. <laughs> and, well, um, but I really want to hear your thoughts. So like Mumsy, for example, like a few weeks ago, you said like, okay, the game's not hard enough. Um, do you think it's getting closer to that? How about you, Jerk? Like, what do you think? And what do you, the viewers, think? Like, what do you think that, you know, what would you love to see? What do you want? Um, I don't know. Like... You guys are watching this basically because you want to play it or you're interested in it. And I'm really curious to hear your thoughts about like what you've seen, what you think makes it good. What do you think makes it not so good? I don't know. So Mumsy, let's go to you. You said you wanted it to be harder. Is it getting there? It is definitely getting harder. 
but I want more. I want to be sitting in a run for upwards of like two hours, just thinking about the greatest possible oh, actions to take in certain okay. situations. I want like a raid boss where I have to just think about every single possible scenario of my head and have to die to it constantly amount of times to learn everything that it does to be able to overcome it. I want something I need to overcome to give me that big sense of gratification once I've overcome it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about, okay, so what about if you had to think it through, like through like the shorter runs, but each time, okay, but I think right now the trend is that they're gonna be shorter runs. So how can you right. get like a shorter, like how, do you think that there's a way to sort of get that same feeling, but with shorter runs or do you, I like think that same consider. I think you get that same sort of gratification from the covenant system from Monster Train, where each run you complete, the you have an option, mm -hmm. an optional selectable difficulty yeah. that keeps going up the more and more you complete runs. Yeah. Of just different ways to have thorns in your sides, like um, you know, being forced to have one less vestige for the run, just as like a certain modifier. Uh, to just make it that much more difficult mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or completely limiting the ability options you get just different small little modifiers that you could add onto the game that would much make it much more difficult because you know if you get let's say you're only able to select one ability at every single ability uh selection you could get locked into something that isn't so great for your class and you just yeah. have to adapt from that yeah you could also make it uh on higher covenant or whatever you want to call it for this uh enemies attacking sooner you know uh oh. those, those little guys who only deal one damage you know mm -hmm. that starts adding up when you have 40 health and if you can't get out of the way because they're attacking every turn now instead of every other action you take like things like that can can mm -hmm. seriously change an entire fight carnival said in the chat covenant 2 gives one damage per mob so everyone is just dealing more damage Covenant three, instead of getting twenty or forty health max, you only get thirty. Different things to just make the game much more drastically harder, and all yeah. of it getting stacked on top of each other. Interesting. And my Hopefully. main issue mm -hmm. sometimes, though, mm -hmm. is I feel like I want a reward for doing that. Yeah. So you know, in Monster Train, you know, you could clear. I think it's Covenant twenty five. Right. Getting like a cool, like you know, oh, all of your cards are golden or something along those lines yes. of just especially with the an anatheum in this game i would love to be able to walk around see other people's characters mm -hmm. and see like a shining golden helmet of oh i know that guy did yes. the exact hardest difficulty that's the person i want to be in a party with or just something something insurmountable just something so right. cool that I'm like, oh, okay yeah, yes, yeah, yeah that's that's jaw dropping uh, sorry. Okay, so there's a lot of feedback that came in in the chat. Um, let's see. So Carnival got two. I think Swishy. I think an option to go infinite rather than fight the final boss and end the boss would be pretty nice. And the boss maybe scales based on how long you've been playing. So do you mean like how long the run has been, or the how long mm. like your level? Sorry, Swishy. I think that was um how long the run has been. Oh, I see. I think there was a system like that at the beginning with the blights where things would get harder mm. and then they remove that. Um, I know, thanks Shaheen. Yeah, that's true. I know we do really want, sorry, I keep wanting to sit and we have to, yeah, there we go. This is just our sit and talk corner. <laughs> uh, but my, I've only seen three runs so far, but my immediate thought is that the abilities you can choose between sometimes don't all fit with the overall abilities you're running with. That is true. I think there is a sort of sense of randomness. How about you, Jerk? Did you feel like your abilities, or sorry, the the your drafting was a like sort of fit with the abilities that you have, the core abilities, or the only issue with abilities that I have seen as mm -hmm. far as that goes is being offered Jinx twice, like like you were here. Yeah, you, you can't use Jinx. Yeah, does mm -hmm. that mean you should lock it out? I don't think so. I don't think it's it's that much of an issue. And as far as like difficulty goes. Right now, I feel this is great for someone who hasn't played before. Right. Yes. Uh, at this point, I, I'm 30 hours in, and I don't even know. Like, I have to mess up to die. Right. I have to 
oh, I jumped here and I thought I had one extra will to move. Instead, I'm taking four hits from guys. Oh, well, you know, right, it happens. Right. Um, and, and that, I think, is a good way to start people off because mm -hmm. you want them to be able to feel accomplished but still get punished if they make mistakes. Whereas the covenant system is you can get punished when you don't make a mistake. Um, and I like I that see, too. Yeah. There, mm -hmm. there are, there are people who need, like, like Mumsy was saying is you, like you need that challenge. Yes. And I think that's great to have. Um, and I know stuff like that is coming. Yes. So I'm, definitely. I'm very happy in seeing how, cause you have to have that starting line, right? Yes, absolutely. Cause that's skewed then you're going to scare away too many players and not hook enough. Yes. You know, it goes that that goes both ways so easily. Um, and I like the line where we're at. Um, not that there can't be tweaks, obviously, but it's definitely a good starting base for I loading it up. It, UI is great. You look at it and like, OK, I press Q and I smash things. Yes, right, great. exactly. Um, Instant gratification on abilities. <laughs> right? Um, it would be nice to have not so much wall of text like uh, mm. homing shuriken, but how do you shorten homing shuriken? Um, yeah, and also, I mean, didn't Monster Train also? I mean, like some of the, some of like you know, you draft some things, and there would be sort of a wall of text sometimes. Because yeah, because like, they're really cool things, and you've got to know what they do. Right. Like, um, is it, yeah, that's the problem. It's kind of like the nature of the game, of right? Yeah. I agree, one hundred percent agree. So yeah. it works out well. Um, yeah. yeah. I, Overall, it's just been a very positive experience playing, hey, uh, getting getting to you know be here with everybody and the community inside the Discord's been super great. Oh, I've I've dropped the links in a couple of dis other Discords. Oh, to try thank to get you. Them. That's yeah. so helpful. That's um, so so helpful. Actually, so I'm gonna pause briefly so they can yeah yeah. <laughs> that is a great exactly. segue. That's a sorry, that is a great segue it's for people who have just joined. Carl, I think I saw you. Just say hi. I'm so glad that you were able to catch one of the streams live. We've got some socials. Please, at least, at the very least, join the Discord. We're all on Discord. We're all talking there all the time. Mumsy and Jerk, or King Jerk. <laughs> like, I'm just jerk calling you Jerk. Hard. Yeah, jerk is, um, are both playtesters on uh, Discord, and it is just... Yeah, we're just always on there, and it's kind of like the heart. It is the heart. It's the heart of our community, basically. Um, and I'd love to see you there if you'd like to join. And then if you haven't already, please wishlist the game. That's, like I said before, and sorry for people who have been here since the beginning. This is just something I sort of have to do and really push. Um, please wishlist the game if you haven't already. Um, wishlisting it on Steam is just a really great way for us to figure out what is working in terms of our outreach, what's not working, how much, how far do we have to go, and if this is going to be a viable product. And we really want it to be a viable product. So that's, you know, that really, like Steam and the numbers there really help with that. Um, but back to- I don't to, think people realize how huh? much, I don't think people realize how much just wish listing a game it's, helps. It's so, so helpful. It's just to get a sense of like, you know, it's, you know, like just a sense of like, okay, like, I don't know, like, are we, are the trailers working? Are they catching people's attention? Is our media, like our media blast working and stuff? Like, are people getting the link? Or if they are seeing the link, why don't they want it? But anyway, this is not a marketing for games po <laughs> like podcast. This is, <laughs> yeah, sorry, but definitely please wish list it. Um, oh boy, okay, sorry, everybody. Uh, who should I respond to now? Um, Okay, let's see. Carl, since you are you haven't been able to join for a bit, the most confusing aspect so far, for me at least, is that buffs and debuff stacks seem very hidden compared to other games. Took me some time to figure out that they're next to the health bar. That is a great point. Did you guys feel like there were some things that were hard to like get a grasp on when you were playing? Or like, yeah, or like specifically like this issue too, when you started playing? Um, either one of you can answer that. I think it took I me had. one run before I learned about the Z button that brings up all the different stats of everything I can see and yeah. just That's, being this able is to what Muncie's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, okay. just a just a big list of everything in the game that I can look at and read and be like, okay, I can understand I have percentage dodge chance and what ability power does and how ability power works for all characters instead of just some like physical power and magic power do. 
Um, uh, it, it took like one or two runs for me to really grasp where the information was. And once I knew where the information was, it was easy for me to understand at least. Yeah. How many wish lists do we currently have? Gauging interest in healthy metric. Um, right now, you know, actually, I don't have those numbers. That would be Mark. Um, I just get told, please push the wish list <laughs> on the stream. Um, okay, and could you put... Uh, no, I don't think you can see other people's buffs right now. Could you put the buffs next to the characters in the top right? Like, wow buffs. That's a really interesting point, Carnival. Um, I have not considered that. Hmm. Actually, so um, I had allotted a bit more time for the stream. Are either one of you interested in doing another run? Or do you guys want to sit and talk for a bit? Okay. I'm, I'm down either way. I Like I told you, I've got nothing going on today. So You've got nothing going I, on? I actually do have somewhere I need to be, so I would not be able to do the run. Okay. But That's okay. Um, that is fine. I think we can definitely just end it here. Yeah, okay. Did, are there any questions that I didn't get to? Sorry, you guys. I know I asked for questions and then you guys all did so well. I think I got everybody. But in any case... Okay, well, thank you, Mumsy, and thank you, Jerk. You guys were absolutely amazing. I'm going to take you off. This was a, so much fun. Um, thank you so much to everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for everybody who joined. This was a lot of fun. These are the highlight. These and the streams on Friday are really the highlight of my week. Oh, thank you, Shaheen. Um, I, I hope you guys had fun. Really, these are these streams are to get a sense of, not a sense, it's like, you know, to give you guys a chance to play a bit and get a sense of what it's like to play with um, other people. And like I said before, um, definitely join us on Discord. Sorry, I'm gonna put the links up one more time. I gotta push those socials. <laughs> um, thank you, Swishy. Yeah, um, definitely join us on Discord if you haven't, and definitely wishlist the game if you haven't yet. Like we were saying, it's just a really good way to figure out how everything's doing. And you know, we also have other things. If you are not a playtester or you haven't won one of the giveaway um, giveaways that are on Discord every Tuesday, you can also sign up for beta access on our website. And then we're also on TikTok and Twitter, and you can see the past streams on YouTube. And yeah, so again, thank you so much, King, and, or sorry, the jerk. I can't. <laughs> and thank you, Mumsy, and I hope you guys can join again soon. Um, yeah, bye everyone, see you next week. Bye everyone. See ya.